Hello and welcome to Structured Change. Today we're going to take a look at three simple questions that when put into a conversation will help upper management or top management and wider stakeholders within your organisation understand what asset management is truly setting out to do. The presentation that you'll see has some visuals in it which help articulate where the questions sit both strategically, tactically and operationally in an organisation. And also two are uh, three questions that enable um, you in the organisation to explain where a strategic asset management plan and asset management plan, technical maintenance plans sit in a hierarchy and against these three questions. So the three questions are, if I continue doing maintenance and operations the way I'm currently doing things, how long will this asset live for? That's question one. Question two, if I was to stop doing maintenance at this very minute, how long would the asset last without breaking down? Okay, question two. Question three, if I had $1,000 to spend on this asset, where would I spend it to get the most return on the investment? Now, that was question three. If an organization can answer all three of those questions, they would probably be considered in the top one percentile of organizations doing asset management across the world. Because as we say, the simpler the question, often the more complexity the answer needs to be or the research needs to be to answer it. So let's take a look at this presentation. Those three questions are not in any way to deter people from entering asset management, but it's the ability to answer one, two, or all three of those questions that places your organization in a really good position. So let's take a look at what that looks like visually, and it's food for thought for you when you're entering into a conversation with stakeholders as to how to inform and at times sell the benefits of asset management. Let's take a look. Okay, when we start off with questions, we normally end up being able to draw people back to the why in a conversation. Whereas whenever we go to the answer, sometimes people get disconnected from the discussion of what we're trying to set out to explain to someone. So these questions as we go through, you'll see how they align to asset management principles, but also to how you can weave them in and out of discussions and align them to some of the key plans that you'll find in an asset management context. So the first one here is of course, the questions we really want to push the point to remind people that we're very focused on cost, risk and performance because the three of those, or the balance of desired cost, risk, and performance, ultimately sets out what sort of value we are likely to achieve in our asset management system. The three questions that are really simple in the sense that one aligns to performance, one aligns to cost, and one aligns to risk. So if we take the first question here and say, how long do we expect the asset to live under its current maintenance and operations? That's performance. That's what that question is really asking and it's something that often the asset manager or the asset owner will want to reflect upon. The next question here is, when would the asset likely fail if we ceased all maintenance today? And that's a loaded question really and it's one related to risk because if you knew everything about your assets and your technical maintenance plans and that full technical detail of the assets in which you're managing, you should be able to answer that. Of course, the breakdown of assets in hierarchies, etc., is somewhat of a scientific experiment, but the point is, asking that question relates to risk. Next question we have is if we had $1,000 to spend on the asset, where would we spend it on? And that's to do with cost. So you can see here, cost, risk, and performance against those three questions. Because ultimately, if an organization knew its strengths and weaknesses, it would ultimately know where to invest in to prolong the life or the reliability and availability of its assets. 
So let's just take a look again. We've got the performance question, we've got the risk question, and we've got the cost question. Now, in the other video presentation, you would remember that we have got the owner, we've got the manager, we've got the maintainer, and we've got the operator. So from the workforce, it's very much around that cost area. That's where that question relates to. When we talk about risk, we're really asking the asset manager to understand what risk profile can be achieved with the inputs of performance, cost, and of course, the operational output parameters available to him or her. And then ultimately, you've got the top management performance question, which the owner will want to know, and that is, what performance do I want to get out of this asset? So how does this assist change? Well, quite simply, simple conversations, and we really want to invite both challenge and solution in our conversations, especially with upper management. This one's very important too, that top management and the workforce can have a constructive conversation that both parties understand and is mutually beneficial. We create alignment in our conversations, and we also challenge assurance, and those two are both fundamentals of asset management as per ISO 55000. We also promote leadership, which is another fundamental of asset management throughout the organisation. And leadership does not necessarily come from the top, it can come from anyone within the organisation supporting the asset management and the system. And of course, asking questions brings us back to why, of course, we end up talking really about value. And when we talk about value, we often end up having a discussion which is unbiased and can cut through the politics or personal agendas or just the protection that a function will have in an organisation against another. Now, lastly, if you take a look at those questions, they actually align nicely to three hierarchies of plans. Now, we've got the strategic asset management plan. We've got the tactical or the asset management plan. And of course, we've also got the operational management plan or the TMP, technical maintenance plan. So those three questions really cut straight to the point and align to these three artifacts in asset management. And they also cut back to the point and remind us that we're very much wanting to align value back to the constraints of cost, risk, and performance. So again, this was just a way of demonstrating how you can educate your stakeholders in asset management without actually going into the technical detail. I hope you found this helpful, and please look out for our other videos at structurechange.tv.